Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this segment, we're going to answer a question. How many SQL Server instances can be installed on one server? Well, um, to answer this question, there are multiple factors. First of all, uh, how you wanted to install your SQL Server uh, on a single machine, whether it's a, um, a named SQL Server instance or default SQL Server instance. However, um, named instance um, and default instance uh, if you install in a uh, uh, standalone mode, there could be uh, both together, uh, you, it, it could be 50 instances on a single machine. That includes if you install SQL Server in uh, default mode. You don't have to install SQL Server in default mode. You can have all the 50 SQL Server instances in, uh, uh, on a single uh, server, but that the limit is 50. Now, if you install SQL Server in cluster mode, uh, there are a couple of scenarios in there. Um, cluster, in, uh, when you install SQL Server in cluster mode and you're using shared uh, disks, you can install uh, 25 uh, clustered SQL Server instances. But if you're using SMB file, then you can only install SQL Server, um, uh, uh, cluster SQL Server instances, that is 16. So to answer the question, um, there there could be if SQL Server is being installed in a standalone mode, you can install 50 instances, including a default instance, uh, or again, you don't have to include the default instance. You can have all 50 uh, named in SQL Server instances. Cluster mode, uh, if you're using shared drives, uh, not SMB, then uh, 25 SQL Server instances, and if you're using SMB, then there could be only 16 uh, clustered SQL Server instances. I hope I answer this question. I hope it helps.